measure on your ballot will have Oregonians voting on health care. We're talking about measure 111. If passed, it would amend the Oregon Constitution, making us the first state in the country to ensure health care access for all. Tim Gordon explains. Proponents of Oregon Measure 111 say it's pretty straightforward in terms of the importance of access to health care. The state voters pamphlet says a yes vote requires state to ensure affordable health care access. State must balance health care funding against funding for schools, other essential services. Courts must respect balance. Codifying health care for all in Oregon has been raised and failed numerous times in the state legislature. Last session, Democrats were able to get it passed on party lines to give it to a vote of the people. Hannah Winchester is a physical therapist and active member of the Oregon Federation of Nurses and Health Professionals. So I think Measure 111 is a really great way to reaffirm the goal that every Oregonian should have access to quality and appropriate health care. Opponents of the measure say it's too vague and does not protect the state financially in terms of the cost of guaranteeing health care access or the risk of being sued if it fails to do so. Senate Minority Leader Fred Girard wrote in opposition of Measure 111, this bill promises something that Democrats know they can't deliver. The bill doesn't fund any system to deliver on that promise. State Senator Elizabeth Steiner Hayward, a healthcare professional, wrote in support, saying, if the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us anything, it is that without access to high quality, affordable health care, our communities cannot thrive. If Measure 111 passes, Hannah Winchester knows there will be details to work out. But I think it's really important to very succinctly and very clearly state that goal that healthcare is a human right and it should be awarded to every person in Oregon. And on Tuesday, voters will decide if a constitutional amendment should make it so. Tim Gordon, KGW News.